very much. My name is Andra Sabo. I'm uh, ambassador of Hungary here in Ghana. My name is Marton Ilo and I'm the ma main organizer of the Hungarian Cultural Week. Right. Okay. Uh, uh, the major emphasis of our conversation is going to be on the Hungarian Cultural Week. But then again, um, I would also love Ghanaians all around the world to also understand the relationship, how it's been so far, how well it's gone. I know Hungary is doing a lot in this country, especially uh, scholarships that are uh, uh, offered to some Ghanaian youth to study degrees and and more in Hungary and all of that. Over the past one year, Andres, how, how has your relationship with Ghana been like? Uh, thank you very much for the question and let me let me start with the with the scholarship program if you if you don't mind and, and then I uh, I will go into into other details. Uh, you know that Hungary is offering 50 scholarships to, to young Ghanaians every year. Mm. They go to different uh, universities universities they are they are doing their studies in uh, in, in English, and um, every year, every year almost uh, forty percent of them they go to uh, our um, Agric University, okay. uh, and I'm very uh, delighted about it because uh, Ghana is a agric country, and we want these folks to come back and to to share their knowledge what they learn during their during their studies, and I also uh, very grateful to you because. Uh, we, you had an idea to uh, one day to go to uh, to, to Hungary mm -hmm. and um, and to make a documentary yeah. on uh, on the Ghanaians who are doing their studies. Yeah. Um, what is your what is your purpose with this documentary? Your purpose is to to recruit uh, for the future more and more uh, uh, young Ghanaians to to continue their their studies in uh, in, uh, in Hungary. Yeah. You of course you want to also show a little bit about our uh, our beautiful culture you want to show uh, our beautiful capital um, uh, etc and of course you you would like to uh, you would like to uh, uh, tell the parents who are sending their kids that uh, Hungary is a beautiful country it's a safe country mm -hmm. uh, I would say comparing to Europe it's a cheap country yeah. So, uh, so when cheap in terms of the fact that things cheap are in, cheaper. Cheap, cheap in terms when you know when the parents have, yeah. have to they have to give some pocket money. They they, yeah, they can yeah. do it in a, yeah. I mean uh, in in yeah. other Western countries it's, it's much, it's much uh, it is much more expensive. You asked about uh, the relations. You know very well uh, because we know each other from the very beginning that we opened our uh, we reopened up our embassy after 30 years uh, in 2016. Um, we, our first job was to set up uh, an embassy and then we started to work on different, uh, different projects. Uh, even before coming here we had, uh, we had good relations with Ghana. Ghana is our, uh, is our uh, old partner, mm. a historical partner. Uh, we always, uh, we can't uh, uh, repeat enough that uh, that after the independence, the first economic advisors of uh, of your first presidents, they were they were Hungarians. The first uh, football coach, the first football Foreign coach. Football coach. Uh, I've learned some Hungarian history. Yeah, I know. You, you know, you know, you, you know, you know everything. You know more than you know better than me. Uh, he was a hung, he was a Hungarian, etc., etc. Et 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 I was I was asking you about the need for the celebration of a cultural week um, every year. Um, what What's the motivation behind yes. this? As I, as I told you, we reopened our embassy in 2016 mm. and uh, for the first time uh, in the beginning of 2017, right after we, we arrived, it was not about the culture, mm. but we wanted some visibility. Yeah. You know, we, we arrived, we reopened our embassy, but we wanted the Ghanaian public, the Ghanaian business circles, the Ghanaian mm. positions to politicians to know about that we, yeah. we, we are here. So we decided to organize uh, something. We have a, we have a, a daughter who is half Ghanaian and half Hungarian, yeah. who is called uh, Sana Dagadu, mm. and um, accidentally she happens to be uh, Marton's wife. Oh, okay. uh, and um, she's, a, she's, a, she's a superstar. She's one of the most popular singer 
in, uh, in, in Hungary. Wow. And of course she is very well known here in Ghana because she's performing with uh, with, uh, with different, with, 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 with big uh, uh, Ghanaian musicians. So we, 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 we joined her and we, we, want, we, we, we invented something. Mm. Okay. Um, and uh, now for the, as, a, as, a, as now we are organizing the third edition, we are fully concentrating on, uh, on, on music. What, what it does, but we, every year we want to grow, everyone, every year we want to do something, uh, something special. Um, uh, when it comes to size, when it comes to the content of the of the of the musical uh, uh, part part of uh, part of the the festival, um, I'm I'm really looking forward. This year it will be it will be it will be an atomic bomb, and it will be really really I'm sure it will be a great success. The 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 highlight um, of the of the whole festival will be held at Alliance Frances on the 13th of April okay. uh, on uh, on a Saturday, and uh, I, I kindly ask uh, all all of us who are who are listening us today to come because uh, last year I was there and uh, and uh, I, I I I went to Senna and I went to Marton at the end and I I told them that. I saw big, big, big guys, mm. uh, real superstars, stars like uh, like uh, Depeche Mode, Oasis. But the niveau, what they were representing, was world class. Yeah. Uh, what's going to take place this time? I know your wife is is a part of the show, a bigger yes. part of the show. But what are the other components? That's going to so make up the music festival. This year, the the concept was to bring. Uh, Foreign players from Hungary. That's the that's the basic idea to to have the focus on horn playing because mm. Hungary is is world class in in uh, teaching of brass instruments mm. uh, in in the universities, either classical or jazz or, or or pop music. So we formed a big band, which is a which is a format of the 40s of the 50s of the American music from. Mm from Frank Sinatra to Glenn Miller, when you have five saxophone, four trumpet and four trombone in the band. Wow. It's a big band. It's, it's called Big Band. <laughs> that's, the, that's, the, that's the official name for this format. And uh, we, we, we combine this old type of uh, music format with modern music, mm. especially with hip hop and rap music. Mm. We inviting Ghanaian musicians, Ghanaian okay. stars, right. and we reorchestrate their songs. Wow! So, for example, we pick a manifest song or a Yapono song or a or a Sena Dagadu song, yeah. and we rearrange it for a big band yeah. format. I understand what you're saying. So this is how we're gonna perform all these uh, uh, mm. all these songs. It's gonna mm. be like a two-hour show. We play some of the instrumentals. Then we play with Senna and another MC from our group in Hungary, MC Kemon. And then we have Yapono, we have Manifest, we have Valo, we have Mensa, we have Volasi, and we have uh, Ria Boss from the, from the Ghanaian side. Uh, so basically this would be the, the highlight of the, of the concert at the Alliance France. So please let's take our time in, in, in okay. we'll getting to this. The Republic Bar is it's Wednesday, is Wednesday. The, the 10th of 10th. April. And then we have the listening party on Friday. On Friday, 12th. Where, where would this be? It a BBNZ Live Bar. Okay. And then. Uh, and then Saturday we have the main event, the Connection Concert. When actually okay. it's called Connection Concert because we connect Hungary and yeah, Ghanaian musicians. And then musicians. Ghanaian musicians. That, that's that's a complete connect connection. Yes. And then there's an activity at the embassy too as well. Yeah, that's one? Thursday. Yeah, that's, that's Thursday. Thursday. But it's by invitation. <laughs> okay, no, of course. I, and, uh, <laughs> I'll, I'll grab my invitation if I need And we have a small, uh, not a small, a huge event actually, mm. but... Uh, surprise, I would surprise. say. Surprise. So I shouldn't talk about it? <laughs> yeah, yeah, no, 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 you should, you should, you should. But it, so this, is, this, is the, this is the salt and pepper yeah. of the whole story. Of the whole story, yeah. We because uh, we're bringing classical musicians. Mm. Hungarian horn players are very good in classical music. Yeah. So we have a small gift for uh, the Christian community in Ghana. At the Lighthouse Church, we will have uh, Bach, Johann Sebastian Bach uh, yeah. repertoire yeah. 
on Sunday uh, morning mass. Like like a Thanksgiving. Yes. Uh, for the whole cultural yeah. week celebration. You you know you know very well that um, uh, Dr. Lawrence that uh, you yeah. see he he, yeah. he studied in uh, in Hungary yeah. so he was so kind to organize this uh, this Sunday. church uh, church event for us yeah. uh, and uh, and uh, and we are we are we are looking. Now before before we uh, round off this uh, conversation. Let's let's understand what kind of music is Sena bringing out now. What's um, what was the album like? The, the album called Wings, and mm. it's a it's a featured album with Bolasi, who is an up and coming but mm. uh, uh, very very talented Ghanaian artist. Mm. This is mixture mixture of uh, of some fut fut futuristic music, mm. trap music, and mm. Afrobeat music. Mm. It's it's very. Uh, let's say underground or it doesn't want to be mm. mainstream or poppy mm. it's a deep album if yeah. you're asking me yeah but it has some Ghanaian yes of rhythms course. rhythms of course. because I, yes. I know she never leaves that out yeah 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 that's yeah. her signature <laughs> she she she's the exponent of the Ghanaian Hungarian relationship well I think the main message was what I what I uh, I never stop repeating is that you have to understand that uh, we are not doing. Uh, we are not organizing this uh, this cultural festival to 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 bring over some Hungarian musicians. They go on the stage and they just uh, they just play. Yeah. This is a this is a combination. Uh, this is a cooperation. This is a jam session. We want Ghanaian musicians and Hungarian musicians playing together mm. and this is a message which is very important that we have to play together we have to work to together we have to do business together mm. because if we are not united we are just uh, listening to the other but we are not understanding the other I think this is the main message and uh, I'm so happy that uh, that uh, that we, we we started this uh, uh, this way and we I'm, I'm definitely I'm assuring you that we are going to continue on this way Martin any final um, musical message because I could I could define you with music right? <laughs> from where you see yeah, I mean uh, please everybody who can mm. Uh, who have the time and, and uh, capacity come to our events because I think all of them gonna be uh, a delight so everybody is invited and uh, yeah to to witness classical music is, is not very often uh, opportunity in Accra mm. so that's one thing and also to see Ghanaian artists uh, who I mentioned before to play with such an orchestra a 19-piece orchestra actually mm. It's also uh, one in a lifetime event, so so this is something nobody should should miss. I think I think Martin sums it all up. That is once in a lifetime experience because uh, uh, some of us grew up uh, with mentors who were listening to classical music, and sometimes if you want to feel like a big man, even when you're young, you have to listen to classical music to affect your thoughts. So it's an experience that. You could live your whole life in Ghana and might never see one. So this is a lifetime experience that we all have to troop in and see. And that will be at the Alliance France on the 13th of uh, April. April. Yes. Saturday. Saturday. That's the... 8 o'clock if I'm not mistaken. Yes. So it's a, it's a pre-Easter uh, Saturday celebration. Yes. yes. With a 19-piece classical music band. That's a big band coming to play together. You know, is a Hungarian artist, Ghanaian artist playing together on one big platform, and that's going to be an experience. And you mentioned also that the Ghanaian artists who are coming to perform are not going to perform their songs the way you know them. They are going to perform them classically, and that's an important part of the show. So, those of you listening on Kinte Radio, watching on Dadabo TV and Bright TV, is that important piece of information to all of you to enjoy this week and the following one. I mean, it goes up until Sunday where uh, it finally comes off with a, a Christian celebration. And you said that would be at the, which church you mentioned? Light Lighthouse Church. Which Lighthouse Church. It's called Kodesh. Okay. That's correct. That's uh, Very term. correct. Yes. Very correct. So that's where it's happening. We'll all be there to sing along. So uh, we thank <laughs> these gentlemen, His Excellency Andras and then Martin. We 
the BP oh. man. <laughs> we thank you. We thank you. Yes, we we are very very grateful for the time. Thank you very much. Yes, and um, we we shot this from the embassies of the of Hungary, so it's important we acknowledge that. My name is Mikhail Sebeko, and uh, thanks for watching. Shouts to the Kendrick, the Coles and Lupe's rock with me.